Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have yet another huge $2 outlet thrift haul to share with you guys. So if you watch my channel, you know the drill. On Thursday, I went back to my favorite thrift store here in Houston, the Family Thrift Center outlet on Thursday morning. I got there right at 7 a.m. when the doors opened and... Um, that is the day of the week that they put out their new merchandise. Everything in the store is $2, whether it be shoes, clothing, purses, accessories, everything is $2. I got a full cart and I am excited to share it with you guys today. So all of these items, most all of them are listed already. I just have a few, um, few things to fix up and then they will be good to go and everything will be listed. So let's go ahead and just get into it. So first off, we have this Free People size large open knit kind of chunky sweater. And I listed this last night around midnight and it already has, I think, 25 likes. Within the first 10 minutes of being listed, it had at least 10 likes, which that is uh, kind of abnormal for Free People stuff. It seems to sit a little bit longer these days, a little bit less popular, but this specific piece has had so much attention so far. So it has the drop shoulder and some ribbed details. It has a roll neck. I could not find this exact style. I used Google Images, I searched a million keywords, and I could not find this specific sweater. So it might be like a sample piece or something. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to see how that ends up doing. Hopefully it sells soon with all the attention. Next, this is Aggies, and it is from Pink Victoria's Secret. It's a collab with Fifth and Ocean Clothing. This is so soft, and it feels brand new. This is embroidered on the front, and then it has pink on the sleeve. Schwa 100% silk blouse, really pretty, very feminine. This is a size large. I really like the tie detail in back. I'm a little bit pickier with Joa these days with what I pick up. However, it was $2. It's a size large, 100% silk. I think the silk items do a little bit better. And this is also a classic piece. This specific style seem to do pretty well. The comps were like 30 to 40 for that top. Okay, this is probably my best find of the day. I was so incredibly excited to see this on the rack. This is Alberta Ferretti and it is a graphic Tuesday sweater. This is a wool and cashmere blend sweater. This originally retailed for around five or six hundred dollars. It was worn on the runway in 2016, pre-fall 2016. There's a whole line, Monday, Tuesday, all the weekdays. Um, and then I think there's some that just say like every day. Um, but they were super popular. A lot of celebrities wore these um, with like the days on them. And I was so incredibly excited to find this. It is a size US 6. And yeah, I listed this pretty high, I think around $250. There was only one other listed that said Tuesday, and it was listed for like $500 or something crazy. Um, so again, very excited to see how that does. This is a graphic t-shirt. I need to wash this still. I think it has a little bit of a spot somewhere. But I just really like this graphic. It says positive mind kind of like a 70s hippie style graphic. The brand is Life Clothing Company and it's a size extra extra large which is great. I picked this up based on style. I have sold Billabong one other time in my reselling career and it was a piece that was also very loud. It was a coat. It was like a faux Sherpa Coat, which had like a really cute um, exterior, very colorful, kind of like this. This is very colorful. Um, it ties in front, or you could wrap these ties around your waist and tie them in back to make the top a little bit longer. And it does have um, balloon 
sleeves. And this is a size small. I had to pick this up. Um, I don't always reach for Old Navy, however, this is a size large and also this graphic. Staying in is the new going out. How appropriate is this for current times? So I think someone will definitely snatch that up. Love Hannah, and this is by Hannah Anderson, which I thought only made children's clothing. However, this is definitely a women's piece. It's a size medium, and it measures 100% like a women's size. It's just really nice, high quality, um, thick coat jacket. It's kind of like a sweater coat jacket. It's 80% wool, 20% nylon, and this does not look like it was ever worn. It's in amazing condition. I love all the details to it. So this will be a great winter coat for someone. This is another piece that I listed last night that has had so much interest already. It's just from H&M, but it's a size large and it has this really cool uh, graphic print to it. It's like a tiger dragon. Um, I was looking, I was researching it and I think it's something to do with the Zodiac. Um, and this is also a blogger favorite, so that was really good. I think that's why it was so popular. I couldn't find, I think mine is currently the only one listed, and there were at least 30 sold. So I've mentioned it before, that is like best case scenario, that's what you want when you are looking up comps. Vince, 100% cashmere, mixed rib, sleeveless sweater and I just absolutely love the construction of this top. I love the turtleneck and I love the mixed lines and the ribbing with this front slit here. I think this is just so contemporary. <clears throat> Such a classic piece, excuse me. So I love that. Okay, switching it up. This is a vintage top. I just thought this was precious. This is definitely older. I don't know, this is the tag, and I don't know how to date it from this tag. Um, it does have an RN number, so I think that does mean something. But I loved the neckline to this and the sleeves. It's just so flattering on, and how adorable is this patch pocket here. It has embroidery, a little embroidered heart on it, so I definitely had to pick this up. This is a new brand to me in philanthropy, size medium, and this, I think this t-shirt retailed for around $95 if I'm remembering correctly, and the solds were around $30, so that's pretty good for just a basic t-shirt. It does have a lace-up detail. Um, and this looks brand new, so this is a brand to add to your list to be on the lookout for. Just a basic, comfy, casual American Eagle. This is the newer tag from American Eagle. It's the jegging fit sweater, size extra small. And I've mentioned it so much recently, but I am on the hunt for these types of items. Comfy, casual. This would be really nice to wear with some leggings. It's long line, it covers the bum. High low, really soft, and it kind of has that like vintage wash to it with some manufactured distressing around the collar. I loved this. This is another favorite of mine. It's just J. Crew, um, but it is the higher, well, not the higher, not the highest, but it is regular J. Crew. It's not J. Crew Factory, size zero. And it is this cotton silk blend popover top. How precious is this? It has this raspberry print to it. It's called mixed berry print is the official style description. A little bit of a high-low, and I just think this is so adorable. And the silk blend does elevate the quality a little bit. We have Moth from Anthropology. This is the newer tag. I know that because it has the store name on the tag. Size medium, 
cardigan. This is so soft. It's a merino wool blend and it has bell sleeves. The comps for this were also pretty good, right around that $30 mark. The back has a ribbed texture to it. We have a Torrid size 1X embroidered top. It has floral embroidery and then some beading details. Also ladder stitch details. Really pretty, just a nice feminine top. Keyhole opening and back. Anthropology Sparrow. Size extra small. This is a cardigan. I loved the ruffle front and the colors. This is definitely my kind of color palette with a uh, sweater. Really cute ruffle detail there at the bottom. And this is a great fabric blend. Lamb's wool, Angora rabbit hair. Um, so yeah, very soft and cozy. This is another amazing find. This is a really good day. I was very, very happy um, this day. This is Blue Marine, made in Italy, and it's a sweater, a crew neck sweater with these amazing sleeves. So it's like a floral lace insert at the sleeves. Just beautiful. Um, really high quality. This again was worn on the runway, I believe also in 2016. Um, like the Alberta Ferretti sweater. And this is 90% wool, 10% cashmere. This sweater retailed for, I would say, seven to $900. It is very expensive, an amazing brand. Um, and I do have this listed kind of high as well, just because we're going into the season for it. It's an amazing piece and um, it's fairly recent, 2016. So next we have a Lululemon v-neck. It's like a maroon with a stripe to it. And this does have a flaw. So it's manufactured to have a rolled sleeve. However, where the sleeve is was sewn to keep it rolled up, it has left a little bit of a hole there and it's come unsewn from the sleeve. So I just need to pin that back over to cover the hole, but this is a size 10, so I did want to get it. It's in pretty good shape otherwise, and I think that's definitely fixable. I picked this up based on style and size. It's Express, and I recently picked up a sweater from Express based on style. It was just a 100% cotton leopard print crew neck sweater, and it sold within a week of listing, so I wanted to pick this up. Um, camo has done really well for me. It's a shirt dress, high-low hemline. It has the roll tab sleeves, and it's just really cute. This would be adorable with some booties in the fall time, or you could wear it with, you know, sandals in the summertime, a versatile piece there. Parker 100% silk printed blouse. I liked the print and color to this, and I also loved this sleeve detail here. You kind of roll the sleeves and then tie them to keep them up. So really pretty. And it does have some smocking at the shoulders here. This didn't have a size, but it fits like a size medium. Madewell, size small, 100% merino wool sweater. This will be a great staple piece for someone this winter. I liked the elbow patches. They're like a ribbed elbow patch. Super cute. Free People. Kind of a basic long sleeve with a rounded hem in front. It's a size large and I just loved this detail in back. Definitely more of a lightweight piece. It has the slit there in back. This is Athleta. It's a size medium petite and it is a dress. 
I loved this color um, and I also like the neckline it's like a little bit of a cowl neck okay next free people yet again size small this is from the we the free line and this is like a crushed velvet sweatshirt I think not too long ago it was either Marshalls or TJ Maxx <clears throat> excuse me had like a ton of these marked at like five to ten dollars and I think a lot of resellers stocked up on this sweatshirt and so the market is a little bit saturated but I figured at two dollars it's the season for it and again people are looking for comfy casual items I definitely wanted to grab it still um, but that is definitely something to take into consideration I would not have paid probably more than two dollars for this but it is really cute I think it will sell rag and bone jean size small this is a striped sweater it has a cold shoulder cold shoulder I think is definitely on its way out um, but this sweater does have quite a few other things going for it like the brand obviously and um, it does have a stripe and seasonality yet again plays into it this is adorable. It's a vintage daisy printed romper. This is just the vintage brand, size small. It's 100% rayon, and I just absolutely love this piece. So it has kind of a V neckline, and then I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it, but it has this like lace up detail in front, and then there is a fabric panel behind that. So you wouldn't have to wear like an undershirt or anything, but I just love the little lace up detail and the shorts are kind of flowy. It zips in back. Okay, so this is Free People and it's from their line Free People One, which definitely does a little bit better for me than just the standard Free People label. Their new Romantics line also does better for me. Um, and this is a hooded jacket. It's like a cropped jacket. And I was initially so excited to find this. However, I believe that it's missing. I think there was like an elastic um, panel down here at the bottom hem that kind of cinched the bottom together. Um, and I think someone just kind of cut that out because I was looking online and um, this style did have that. So I guess I'll just disclose that. I think you could just, you know, add one if you wanted to. Go to like a fabric store and buy just like a strip of elastic. And because the opening is still there. So if you could somehow like um, weave it in there, then... It would be back to normal um, but it does have a hood and it is still a really nice piece it's in great shape other than that um, that whole teddy fuzzy furry vibe is definitely on trend and this is a size large okay next Ramy Brooke I think that's how you say that and this is a little bit of a higher end label let me show that one more time. I think that was too fast. So um, I thought this was 100% silk because it really feels like that. Usually I can like really tell the difference between silk and polyester and I was, I've been so careful with this blouse. However, it's 100% polyester. So that's kind of amazing. Um, I personally don't really like owning silk tops just because the maintenance is, you know, kind of tricky. So if you can have a top that feels like 100% silk and looks like it, but, you know, has the care of polyester, I mean, that's like amazing. So I'm pretty impressed with this blouse. Um, and I actually love the construction of this. So it has a high neckline and then it does have a cold shoulder. And I don't know if, if yeah, okay, it's picking it up. So it has this really interesting detail at the neck um, just a really pretty blouse 
and it has elastic at the sleeves. So yeah, I was shocked when I looked at the care tag. But it does say dry clean only. So um, I think higher end brands just put that on their tags. It's a size extra small. We have Florite by Anthropology, size extra small. This is a newer tag again. And I love this. It is so soft. It's a jersey blend. It's like rayon and spandex, high low. It has this micro stripe print to it, half sleeve. This again would be adorable to wear with leggings just around the house. Super cute. So this is kind of an out of the box pick for me. Um, the bin pickers would be proud, G and Michelle. It, the brand is Playmate by Playboy, I'm assuming. It has the Playboy bunny on there. Size small, um, but I could not leave this behind. It's that shiny spandex. It's very high cut and um, stuff like this always does really well. It's, you know, like I said, out of the box, quirky, weird. Um, someone wants this. I'm sure there is a market for it. We have Dolan Left Coast Collection from Anthropology, size medium. And this is like a two tone color block, long sleeve tee. It has a ribbed fabric at the bottom and then kind of the space dye print up top. Really soft and cozy. Once again, great for leggings. Lululemon tank top, just a basic. There's the logo and back. I think this is probably about a six. Free People Beach. This is another line from Free People that does a little bit better for me than just their straight Free People tag. Size large. And I thought this was adorable. You guys know me. I love the mustard color. It's like a tunic dress. You could wear it either, you know, with jeans or leggings or just by itself. But it has this very plunging neckline here. Two pockets in front. And um, this would be adorable with like a bralette and booties. Um, and it is 10% flax. It feels like linen. I guess that is kind of linen. Um, so yeah, I like that. This is a beautiful dress. I was very happy to see this. Let me button it here. So it's Zara and it is the newer tag Zara. It's a size medium and it's this like mock neck dress, belted dress. It's a mini dress, long sleeve, and it has this velvet belt here in front at the waist. It has like a metallic sheen to it. This would be adorable for New Year's. It also has structured shoulders, which I like. It, um, you know, is just very figure flattering. And yeah, I'm excited to get this listed closer to the holidays. Okay, again, another kind of out of the box pickup for me, um, this crop top. And this was hand embroidered in Hungary, made in Hungary. And if you look up the comps for hand embroidered items made in Hungary, they do really well. Some, some tops had sold for like 50 to like $150. It was kind of crazy, but the embroidery on this top is just amazing. The detail, and the care that went into it is just really, really beautiful. And it does have a few flaws. So it is, the neckline here is ripped a little bit at the bottom and it does have a few spots. However, the tops that I saw that had sold on Poshmark also had some flaws. I think that's just kind of what you get with this being a an older vintage piece. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see how that will do. Current Elliott stripe boxy t-shirt with pom-pom detailing at the bottom. 
size one, which I think is like a medium, maybe small and medium. Free people. And like that sweater I showed at the very beginning, I could not find this top anywhere. It's so unique. And I searched a million different keywords. Again, I did the Google image um, search and I could not find anything on it. It's this high neck Victorian style blouse. It a, has a high low hemline and this is beautiful. But yeah, I just could not find the style name or any kind of stock photos or anything. So I did take model pictures of this to kind of show how it fits. But I think this is new without tags. It did still have the tag barb at, um, at the label. So yeah, and this was a size extra small. Next we have a Vince. This is one of their newer tags. I don't think this is the newest tag. Size small, open knit, sleeveless sweater vest. 100% cotton and aloe yoga neon racer back tank top. This color is great if you're going to run at night or in any kind of lower visibility um, situation. Aloe, you will definitely be seen in this. This does still have the padding, which is awesome, and it's in really good shape. And last but not least, this was definitely another favorite for me. This beautiful halter style midi dress. This is so pretty. This is a vintage piece and it has the white upper with the yellow skirt portion. It has two oversized pockets in front. This is just so pretty and the cut is so flattering. It buttons behind the neck. It has an adjustable, so you could either do the tighter one or the looser button. It has elastic um, with a zipper. Just really, really flattering and pretty. Very well made. This is the vintage tag. Secrets, made in USA, 100% cotton. And this fits like a small, extra small. So that is it for my outlet haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. That really helps my channel out. And um, yeah, I'm headed back there tomorrow, so I will have more haul videos for you guys. There is definitely um, not a shortage of haul videos on this channel. So I hope you subscribe and leave me some feedback. Let me know what you thought about this haul. I love reading y'all's comments. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching. It really means a lot to me. I will see you guys soon. Bye.